And I don't know where you've been, but you're going to respect this courtroom. My life has proven that it's not about where you come from, it's about where you're going. From a jailed youth who had my record expunged to becoming the youngest judge elected. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. In just 15 years. Ma'am, let me know when you want to go to rehab. Otherwise, I think you're a crackhead. Absolutely not. My goal is to inspire others to overcome their obstacles. You don't need him and his little raggedy roommate. Thank you. All while having a little fun on Mathis Court. You look like you're ready to lie right the first <laughs> word out your mouth. <laughs> this is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Eli Lockfield is suing Joyce Jones in the amount of $421.20. Mr. Lockfield claims Miss Jones aggressively confronted him over her son's bad biology grade and says he broke his arm when he slipped trying to get away from her. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. May be seated. Both litigants, Ms. Hornan. Thank you, sir. State your name? Eli Lockfield. Ma'am? Joyce Jones. All right, and sir, you're suing the defendant for $421.20, saying that she caused you to break your arm based on her behavior? Yes, sir. Start with you. Give me some background on how you know her and Absolutely. the nature uh, of your friendship. Uh, she is the mother of a student of mine. I'm a biology teacher of 15 years, and I have had her son, Max, in class. And ever since the beginning, Max has been nothing but trouble. He's uh, not a great student. You've had him how long? I've uh, just had him this year. And uh, lots of uh, interruptions in the classroom. I had to suspend him for, for swearing profusely. I've had to Did take his... Did you speak with him before suspending him and trying to find out what his, the causes of his problems were? Uh, or did I you don't... just kick him to the curb and say, good luck? No, I'm not kicking him to the curb and no, saying... No, I said, what did you do? I'm not asking oh, you uh, what you're doing now. I, Clearly, you did something because you're, you're suing her. Y'all had a confrontation about the son. Yes, sir. And I, not, not, not discussions with a counselor, not discussions with a therapist. You 15-year-old, how old is the kid, ma'am? 16. 16-year-old, 16 yes. right. Bad behavior. Is it abnormal behavior? Uh, in my classroom, it is, yes. All right, so that means he has some abnormal problems. Yes. And when a person has abnormal problems, you get them treatment. You don't throw them out. That's what right. you just said you did. No, so I didn't. So go ahead. You did say that. Well, you said, I've had some of them. I had to throw them out of my class. You did say that. Let me hear from a, you, ma'am. Let me hear from you. Go ahead. Give me um, some background. Well, yes. All he knows to do is to retaliate in a destructive yeah. way to a mm -hmm. child that he acknowledges has problems. Yes, my son has a privileged lot of kids a few go problems. To, uh, <laughs> privileged kids go to Yale. Yeah. Other kids go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> or to That's counsel, true, yes. And then the others go to jail. Go ahead. Yes, definitely. So my, my son is a bit of a troubled child. Um, he has some issues. My sister passed away um, the beginning of last year. Just uh, suddenly we lost her. She was like a second parent to my son. So it really affected him a lot. He had trauma. Yeah. But we always hear now all the excuses yeah. that we hear now about other folks. Yeah, Your child son. getting trauma is just a bad kid. He's just bad. Well, Something I don't, wrong with him. I don't think he was doing anything too bad. Um, you know, he just, he has a little bit of a, of a behavioral, you know, some He's behavioral troubled. issues. And He's we've been working troubled. on that. My, son, my husband and I have been working on it. And I reached out to Mr. Done? Lockfield. What have um, you done to work well, on it? Well, when Mr. Lockfield tells me that my son's not listening in class, I will take his phone. I take his, uh, I put him on punishment. I take You his, haven't taken him to counseling? Not yet. You We're, sound like a very sophisticated we man. We listen to me, please. Yet. Listen to me. Why wouldn't you think to take a troubled child, your child, to counseling? That never dawned on you, sophisticated, well, we, yes. structured uh, husband in the house family? It did, it did. And we Why were talking you? about it, we just didn't get to get him there as of yet. But well, that important is something. Enough. Yeah. That Instead, is something you come we... here getting sued because you put him, you put it on him. You make him the therapist. Well, you make, make him the counselor. I didn't make you him make the him therapist. the psychiatrist. I and he's got to deal with it. And you've done nothing but That's come in here and true. laugh at your son's That's troubled not ways. True, Let Your me Honor. hear from you, sir. Not true. I emailed her several times. Anytime the child got in, in trouble, to Give let me her. Give me some of the examples. 
Uh, had to take his cell phone away twice. It's not allowed in my classroom, not allowed in the schools. Again, had to uh, discipline him for swearing profusely. And just in general, uh, he's just been a lot of trouble. The inciting incident occurred when we were taking a test and uh, I informed the entire classroom they had to fill it out with the classic number two pencil for the Scantron, just like everybody has to. And he filled it out with a ballpoint pen and therefore left me, after class, having to go through it and grade it myself when I could have been doing What were the responses? When, give me another example, and then I'll ask you what were her responses. Go well, that was, that was the, the, the main one, and okay. I had to dock him uh, points on the test. Coming up on Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. She pursued me after all the email and phone harassments to the point that I, I, I broke my arm. Pursued you how? Uh, she pursued me on foot. Uh, violently. That's uh, not true. She no. found out Come where on. I was. And later. You know, I really saw a future with Bonnie, and I, back then I believed that she did too. And so we thought that that next step would be to get a dog together. I um, thought. It, it was originally Bonnie's idea about the dog, and I was skeptical. 100% my idea. I'm more of a cat person. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Eli Lockfield, who is suing Joyce Jones for medical expenses. So when you emailed her, I think you said you did it a couple of times, mm -hmm. what was her response to your email letting her know that you were having problems with her son? She acknowledged it and said, uh, thank you for passing that along, okay. and I, I will do something about that, and nothing was ever done. That's not true. It's not you true. tell me. That's not true. Um, I did email back, and, you know, I said, I'm sorry that my son's behavior is out of control right now. I wanted to try to set up like a, a meeting with the teacher. Um, he didn't respond back to me. I kept emailing him. He kept ignoring me. Uh, he was very rude. And I just feel like he has something against my son, honestly. Oh, show me evidence that he ignores you. Because he has evidence that he reached out to you. Oh, I have my emails here. Let's see it, please. I have evidence, my evidence shows her reckless pursuit of me raising this child's grade by harassing me over and That's over again via email you and you to telephone change call. a grade. You what? I don't think that's harassment, me just asking him to... Change his grade? It is it harassment after I've given was... you the answer, which I did in the email. <laughs> wow, I was, I was, a lot of teachers, want, a lot of parents want to hear about this. But they want to know if that's uh, 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 something that is within the scope of uh, education. Change that grade, teacher. No, Can I talk Honor, to you outside? It wasn't like Can just I talk to you a couple minutes, sir? Mr. Uh, Mr. Lockfield, You're let right. me holler at you for a minute. <laughs> Your Honor, you, it was uh, one point. Do you think you can <laughs> change my son's grade? No. It wasn't a situation Just like me, that. It's between me and you. And what you suing her about for, sir? I'm suing for uh, medical costs after she... Why are you rolling your eyes? I haven't done anything to you. No, Nobody's not, done not anything to you. You, you have failed your head. son. Nobody's done anything to you. Go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, she pursued me after all the email and phone harassments to the point that I, I, I broke my arm. Pursued and, you how? Uh, she pursued me on foot uh, violently. That's uh, not true. She found either. out Come where on. I was and she came in and harassed me in front of one of my students and when I tried to get away from her because I had no more to say to her and frankly I was a little bit frightened of her behavior. Oh it was raining God. outside, she's chasing after me and, I, and I fell and all. I broke my arm. Where were you all at? We were at a coffee shop. I was tutoring. Give me an example. You got to explain this a little bit. I was tutoring a student, one of my colleagues. In the coffee shop? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I saw her come in, and she embarrassed me in front of my student. And Not I true. got up in order to get away from her. It was just made an excuse and said I was going to the restroom. And then I hightailed it out the back door because I didn't want to have anything to do with this woman anymore. Mm -hmm. And she saw what I was doing out the window, ran after me, and I, as I'm going to the car, I slipped and fell because I was running from her. 
Ma'am, did you come to the coffee shop where he was there? I did come to the coffee All shop, right. yes. What was he doing when you saw him? Um, he was finishing up with a student. He was tutoring a student. Oh, right. And you walked over to him? I did. What did you say? I said, hello, Mr. Lockfield. <laughs> and as soon as I said that, he just immediately grabbed his stuff and, and jumped up. And he said, I'm going to go to the restroom. I'll be right back. So I said, OK, I, I came to talk. So I'm standing there waiting. And then I see him go out the back Had door. Had you requested to meet him there to I talk with him? I didn't know. How did you know he was there? Well, I, I frequently go to the how did you shop. know he was there? I wasn't really sure. I mm. saw him I there said, before. How did you know he I was there? I wasn't sure, sir. I saw him there you before. You just said I went there to talk to him. That's why I kept asking you that. You just said I oh. went there to talk to him. And so yeah, I, when I got there, I he was he might tutoring. Might and I there. don't talk when I'm talking. Just because the stuff you say on is unreasonable and doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. Don't try to overtalk me once I display that that is the case. And that is the case. You mm -hmm. said you went there to talk to him. And you interrupted his tutoring session, stood over him while he was tutoring his child. He, just as you described, grabbed his things and decided to leave. Exact same thing. You all described it the exact same way. So mm -hmm. let's finish. What did you do then when he left? When he left, mm -hmm. I, I saw him going out the back door and I called his name Mr. Lockfield. And then when he saw he took off running mm -hmm. and then he just fell over and well, broke his arm. You just said Mr. Lockfield. I said, hey, Mr. Lockfield, because I didn't know where he was going. He's mm -hmm. running. Why are you running from me? I'm just trying to talk. I didn't. To avoid confrontation. Okay, but I wasn't trying to be violent. I wasn't cursing You're at him. You're trying to avoid I confrontation, ma'am. You don't understand that? Talk. When people I walk away from that. confrontation? I do. I was just trying to talk. All he had to say and was, And he look. didn't want to talk to you because you were confrontational. I wasn't confrontational. I just okay. asked. Okay, you don't think you were. Okay. I believe you were. And my opinion counts the most. And you can look there, you can look there, and you can look there. And then look at me, and you'll find out why you have to pay, and you'll find out why I think you are failing your son. You and your husband are failing this 16-year-old child who is troubled. His teacher has told you on several occasions, you admit it. You say he's traumatized by a loss, yet you've gotten him no grief counseling. You've gotten him no type of counseling. No therapy. Zero. And now you want to blame everything on him. I'm Have a good day. Judge it for the plan. Bye. Thank you, Judge. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $421.20. You ran. I didn't even touch you. You like took off running and fell yourself. This is what happens when you harass teachers and are violent. I didn't, I didn't harass you, sir, okay. at all. Coming up, who spent the money on the dog? He gave me money for the dog for my birthday as a gift. So I bought the dog. I spent my own time, lots of time, I actually. I bought well, the dog. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. George Rogers is suing Bonnie Vance in the amount of $722. Mr. Rogers claims Miss Vance took their dog after they broke up and says since he paid for the pup, he wants the animal back. State your name, sir. George Rogers. Ma'am? Bonnie Vance. All oh, right, and sir, you're suing your former girlfriend for $722 because she moved out and took the dog? That's correct. All right, go ahead. Tell me uh, about your relationship. Absolutely. Put yeah. things in context for me. For sure. Um, I met Bonnie uh, about four years ago at a friend's birthday party. Um, and uh, I hate to use this, but it, it, for me, it was love at first sight. and. Um, about a year later, we did start a romantic relationship, and uh, about a year into that, we uh, decided the next step was to move in with each other. Um, and things were going great, and I really, really saw a future with Bonnie. Um, but uh, it took you a year to come up. Let's go back to that. Yeah. You say it was love at first sight, yet you didn't come up in four a year. On you didn't... exactly. He pursued me for a while, and he's not typically my type, but. I like the attention, and I like the, um... He wore you down. So what are you suing her for? What happened here? Well, basically about, uh... You two all and... moved in. Right, we moved in, and, uh, two and a half years in, we wanted to take the step to the next, uh, level here. You know, I really saw a future with Bonnie, and I, back then, I believed that she did, too. Um, and so we thought that that next step would be to get a dog together. I uh, thought. 
it was originally Bonnie's idea about the dog, and I was skeptical. Hundred percent my idea. I'm more of a cat person. Coming up. What kind of dog is Lulu? Oh, uh, <laughs> you saying he don't know oh, nothing? Yeah, about. What kind of dog is Lulu? What kind of breed? A uh, smallish dog. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with a case of George Rogers, who is suing Bonnie Vance for property loss. Did you all intend to get married when, at some point? I definitely no. saw. You, no. No? I was very clear from the beginning that I did not see it in my future to ever get married. Who that spent was... the money on the dog? So, unfortunately, at the time, I could not afford the dog. The dog. Whose idea? You said it was your idea. It however. was 100% my idea from the beginning. I was very clear with George since our very first date that I always wanted a dog. Since I was a little girl, I could never have one. And it was very important to me as a child to have a dog. And despite what he might say today, he never wanted a dog. Even his little claims of, oh, I wanted a cat is a reach, in my opinion. Sir, he didn't did want she any tell animals. you these things that she's saying now? That yes. she told you she's always wanted one, et cetera, et cetera? Go ahead, continue. So I wanted a dog. I, I couldn't afford one at the time. My birthday was coming up. He gave me money for the dog for my birthday as a gift. So I bought the dog. I spent my own time, lots of time, actually. I bought actually. the dog. I bought well, the dog. You, did, you gave you me money for as a gift for, for my birthday. I found the shelter. If you'd like to see, I have I want to see the dog, the that's sale. for sure. I you have, have that? I have an image of Lulu. Let me see. What Lulu. kind of dog is Lulu? Oh, uh, <laughs> you said he don't know oh, nothing yeah, about What kind of dog is Lulu? What kind of breed? A uh, smallish dog. <laughs> smallish. There you go. There you go. Are we done? <laughs> Lulu is my, my baby. What kind of, what kind of breed of dog? A uh, Welsh Terrier. Welsh Terrier. Oh. Fine. Very cute dog. Yeah. And I know you didn't keep this dog up like that. <laughs> you don't have that ability or style. I'm sorry. Judge, when it comes to my baby, Lulu, I, I did. Your baby. <laughs> How will Judge Mathis rule? Find out when Mathis Court returns. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. It was a gift, sir. And yeah. gifts are not retractable. If you see, though, you I can, do. It can, hold on. Let me tell you about gifts. You need to know the law so that you don't get your feelings hurt again and your heart broke. Once you complete a gift, you cannot retract it. I'm considering this a gift around her birthday. She bonded with the dog. And lastly, uh, just a little education on the law as well, a con if a promise of a gift is not enforceable, folks. If you promise someone a gift and don't give it to them, they can't sue you. Only when the gift is completed. Well, I understand the gift, but I do have a text message of her admitting that the dog was ours and she was excited uh, to um, have the dog together. Yeah, but a gift became her property, sir. Yes, y'all had it there together, but the property was hers. All right, sir, your claim is dismissed. It was her property, and by law, once she receives that property, she owns it. Have a good day. All rise. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been dismissed. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.